In this video, you will learn how to download and install Flutter SDK in your Windows machine. So simply Google for Flutter and the first one which says Flutter Framework, download Flutter SDK. Click on it. Click on Get Started. Choose Windows and click on this Recommend it. Now the first step is to download Git for Windows. Click on Download. So it is downloading now download it successfully as you can see now let's install this after installation click finish then comes the next step which is to download the android studio simply google for android studio the first link click on it and download the android studio so it is downloading now so it has been downloaded successfully. Now let's install it. Click next and then click finish. Don't send. Click next. Select standard. Click next. Next. Select the first one and accept. Then Select the second one and accept and click finish. After completely downloading the required components, it will show you the finish button. So you can click on finish and here we go. This is our Android Studio. After this, let's follow the next step which is configure the text editor or IDE. So you can use the Android Studio as an IDE which is already installed or you can also use Visual Studio Code as an IDE. So let's download and install Visual Studio Code. The first one, download for Windows. And the download will start automatically. Otherwise, you can click here and it will start the download. It is downloaded. Now let's install it. Click Finish. Welcome to VS Code. Now here you can choose your theme with which theme you want to proceed. Now is the time to download and install the Flutter SDK. So let's download. It has been downloaded successfully. Now this file we have to move to our C drive. So cut it from the downloads and paste it inside the C drive just like this then right click on it as you know it is a compressed file and extract all and then click extract okay in the C drive it will be extracted so as you can see it is extracted now it has been extracted successfully now this compressed file you can delete it okay this is the extracted file extracted folder if you click on it you will see inside the Flutter SDK as you can see here. So now we will set the path for it. So first of all you have to rename it properly. For example this is our Flutter underscore SDK okay in which we have the Flutter SDK as you can see. So what you need to do is you need to go inside the bin okay and this path you have to copy. Copy this path search for the environment variables environment variables and here you will see this path select this path click edit click new and paste the path here click ok 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 now one thing which i have to show you that is this is according to the documentation okay that is we have to set the path like in this manner which we already done now you can close the browser and open up the command prompt and run the command flutter doctor. So two things we have to do the command line tools setup and the Android license we have to accept. So the command line tools you have to open up the Android studio. Here click on more actions SDK manager select Android SDK click on SDK tools here you will see this Android SDK command line tool select this 
if you see this one also which is ndk then also select this one and also if you see this option which is and android support repository if you see this one also then check this otherwise the required one is only this one which is android sdk command line tools so when you choose this then click apply and then click ok click here accept and then click here accept click next it is going to install it click finish and then click ok now in the command line tools if you run the flutter doctor now we have to accept the license for which you have to run this command so select this copy this command and simply paste it here and press enter write y which means yes press enter y enter y enter write y enter write y enter so all packages licenses accepted run the flutter doctor command again now the next step is you need a chrome browser google chrome browser in your computer so let's download and install google chrome quickly download chrome So Google Chrome installed successfully. Now in the command prompt, run Flutter Doctor again. And here you can see. Now this step which is Visual Studio. If you want to develop the Windows applications which are desktop applications, then for that you have to download and install Visual Studio and there you have to install this one for the desktop app development. If your focus is only Android and iOS and the web application, then there is no need for this. This is only required for the desktop app development. We are interested in web and in mobile app development, okay? So we will skip this one. But if anyone wants to install the Visual Studio desktop development with C++, then I will provide the link in the video description. You can click on that where you will learn how to complete this step. Otherwise, we are not interested if you want mobile and web development only with Flutter. Now let's complete the final step which is to set the IDE. So we will follow the step for both that is Android Studio as well as VS Code. So if someone wants to set Android Studio as an IDE, then open up the Android Studio, click on plugins and simply search for Flutter. Make sure that marketplace is selected then click on flutter and simply install this flutter plugin click restart ide restart now for the confirmation you can you can go to the plugins and write flutter so you will see that flutter is installed also alongside with this flutter installation you will also see that dart is automatically installed okay so now we can simply create a new flutter project make sure that from here you select flutter now here you have to choose your flutter sdk path for example in my case it is in my, inside my c drive flutter sdk flutter select this flutter click ok click next then you have to write here your app name for example i will give it name as test underscore app name must be in small english alphabet without spaces and then you choose your platforms for which platforms you want to create your project then create so the project has been created successfully as you can see that now from here make sure that project is selected here you will see the ios module android module and the web module here you see lib where we create our code files our apps start from this man dot dot so anyways this is the default code now for the testing purposes we need to create a virtual device by default you will have one virtual device already created if you want to create more then click on this plus button create virtual device and from here you can choose which phone do you want for example pixel 8 a pixel 8 pro it is totally up to you then click next you can download other api level as well the current one which is already 
download it in my case it is 35 so i will choose this already downloaded one and then you can click next here you can write your phone name if you want to change it it is totally up to you and then click finish so it create a new phone from me a virtual device if you click on this play button it is going to open it up When the phone turn on, click on this play button to install the app on this phone. For the first time app installation on the phone, it took some 5-10 minutes. So you, you have to be patient and wait for it. So the app installed successfully on our phone. and then you can mark done now let's set VS code as an IDE so open up VS code click extensions search for flutter flutter click install it has been installed successfully alongside with this if you search for dot then dot is already installed automatically now the important thing is how we can create flutter projects in the VS code so for that purpose, for example, here on my desktop, let's say I create a folder by name my projects. So let's say all my future Flutter projects I will create inside this my projects folder. For example, in the future, let's say it will have Flutter Uble Clone project, Flutter e-commerce project, Flutter Hello World project, and so on. So let's create our first Flutter project inside this main my projects folder. So you can either create it from the command prompt or you can also create from the Visual Studio terminal, new terminal. Now one important thing you have to remember is that when you name any folder, make sure that you do not give any extra space. For example, I give it here my space projects. So you must avoid extra spaces. Otherwise you will get errors. Okay. So for example, it is now together my projects without extra space. So anyways, now we have to write CD and then the part to this folder. So to get the part to this folder, you can right click on it click on properties and it will give you the path that is the location so for example you can copy it from here and simply write cd space and then the path slash slash our folder name that is on the desktop it is by the name my projects this is one way another way to get the path is to simply drag and drop that folder here so you write cd space and then simply drag and drop this a folder here and it will give you the path if it contains single quotes like this and other extra operators when you pass this like let's say for example any end operator like this then you have to make sure that you remove that single quotes from it like this and also the end operator from it and it will be CD and then the path then press enter and now we are inside this folder as you can see my projects so let's create our first project to create any new flutter project you write the command flutter space create space your project name so let's say in my case i will give it name as test underscore app this is my first project which is by the name test app okay so you write your project name let's say hello underscore world okay and then press enter so it will create our first project by the name test app our project has been created successfully for example if you go to my projects you will see your first project here which is created successfully now we can open it up inside the vs code by simply clicking here on file and then open folder and on my desktop we have my projects and then my project which is test underscore app i select this select folder trust and trust so you can see that this is the ios module android module and we have the web module and so on linux mac os this is the lib where we start from where our app start that is the starting point of the flutter project so currently we have the default code now the important thing is how we can test the application on phone or amulet for that purpose you can click here at the bottom as you can see my cursor click here 
and you will see this and from here if you have already created virtual device as you can see you can simply click on it and it will open it up otherwise you can create a new android emulator by clicking on this create android emulator and you can see that the emulator is created our emulator launched successfully now for example if you close the emulator from here you can open it up again by simply clicking here and you can click on start flutter emulator and it will open the emulator again as you can see now we are ready to test the application right click on man.dart and click on run without debugging so it is going to install the app on our emulator for the first time it will took some five minutes to install the app on the emulator so here we go here you can see the app launched successfully on our emulator